Hey guys, my name is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel and happy November. And today I'm gonna be doing my November TBR. October was quite a difficult month for me and things didn't quite go exactly to plan. I'm trying to go a little bit easier on myself for my November TBR. I do have a lot of books that I would really absolutely love to get to this month, but I'm not going to be putting as much pressure on myself to make sure that they actually happen. But I do still have one kind of secret TBR video kind of planned and then I do have some reading vlogs that I would like to do this month. So I'll be talking about those in this video. But before we do jump into the video, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Book of the Month for sponsoring today's video. Book of the Month is a super popular and fast growing online book service for readers. Their mission is to promote new and emerging authors and help readers discover new books that they will love. So basically how this works is their team goes through the hundreds of new releases every month and they pick the top five that they think their readers will love the most. It saves you time because they do all the work for you and you can spend more time reading. Something that's really great about Book of the Month is the fact that it's risk free because you can skip any month with no penalty. But I guarantee you're not going to want to skip any month because almost always one of the five selections is usually one of my most anticipated books of the year or a book I've heard so much about and have been really interested in reading. And they're always choosing books in some of my favorite genres like literary fiction, thrillers, mysteries. They throw in some sci-fi, some romance, some non-fiction. There's something for everyone there. And it's great because you don't even have to leave your house. Plus they have the best prices for new release books. Usually new release hardcover fiction books can be anywhere from like $26 to $28, but in the month of November when you use the code SAYBOOK, you will get your first book for only $9.99, which is incredibly cheap. I doubt you're gonna find anywhere else that will have a new hardcover book this cheap. So what are the five selections for the month of November, you might ask? Let's go through them together. You know, something that's really cool about the Book of the Month app is that it will give you a very short description of what the book is about so you don't have to sit here for so long reading the entire book description to get a gist of what the book is about. They'll just explain it to you in like one to two sentences what the book is about and they'll give you the genre. So it's very helpful and it helps you make quick decisions about which ones sound interesting to you. One of the selections this month that I'm pretty excited about is Memorial by Brian Washington. This one is actually the only selection this month that I've heard of before. And this one on their website, it says it's literary fiction and it says it's both fun and heartbreaking, this intimate portrait of an imperfect relationship explores the highs and lows of love. Gosh, just reading the inside flap too, it says Benson and Mike are two young guys who live together in Houston. Mike is a Japanese-American chef at a Mexican restaurant and Benson's a black daycare teacher and they've been together for a few years, good years, but now they're not sure why they're still a couple. Um, wow, I need to pick this up immediately. The next selection is This Time Next Year, and just looking at this cover, I'm feeling like it's romance vibes. It says this is an early release, and it says he was born with a silver spoon, she with a chip on her shoulder, and fate just won't stop bringing them together. <laughs> okay, this sounds cute. This sounds like exactly the kind of book that I get in the mood for at this time of year. Their lives began together, but their worlds couldn't be more different. After years of missed connections, they're about to meet again. And then we have Pretty Little Wife, which this is the only thriller selection this month. So that means this is the one I'm most likely to read just because it's a thriller. This one is also an early release and it's a debut. The description just says, Till death do us part gets a whole new meaning in this twisted domestic suspense about a dead husband gone missing. What on earth? That is all I need to know. A dead husband is missing? Sign me up. Up. Then we have The Star-Crossed Sisters of Tuscany, and this one is a contemporary fiction book. It says, Escape to the Italian countryside in this hopeful family drama about love, a curse, and second chances. And then the last fifth selection this month is These Violent Delights. <laughs> And this one is actually a young adult novel, which is rare. Sometimes they throw in some young adults into the five selections for each month, and sometimes they're just put in as add-ons. This one says, this young adult take on Romeo and Juliet includes forbidden love, feuding families, and a plague on everyone's houses. Okay, I didn't know this involved forbidden romance, so 
will consider me intrigued. But yeah, thank you so much to Book of the Month for sponsoring this video and for supporting my channel and the booktube community. And now let's get into the rest of my TBR because it's extensive. Even though I said I didn't have any reading plans really this month, I still want to read a lot of books apparently. The very first one that I know for sure I'm absolutely going to be reading this month and I'm already reading it right now <laughs> is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. I'm actually going to be buddy reading this one with my mom and my sister and my friend Brittany. Just like everyone that I know, we're just going to buddy read this this month, I guess. <laughs> and this one, I'm already 80 pages into this book right now as we speak. And I can already tell you right now, this is probably going to be a new all-time favorite for me. Like, this book is just incredible already. The writing is exceptional. I've never read anything like this before. And this book, I guess, is described as like fantasy historical fiction romance i guess i don't know but i'm obsessed already another book i'm absolutely for sure going to be reading this month is the midnight library by matt haig i literally went on book depository and bought this version of the cover which is the uk cover because i just think this cover is absolutely stunning and i needed to have it and matt haig wrote one of my favorite books of all time the humans so it's safe to say i'm so excited for this one i've heard so many good things about this book like so many people have said this is their favorite book of the year so far and I just don't even know. I don't know what it's about. It's about like a magical library, I guess. <laughs> but I would like to include this book in a reading vlog just because I do think I'm going to love this one so much. And I just want to be able to capture that in the moment. So very excited about this one. As I said at the beginning of this, I do have some kind of plan to do a secret TBR-ish kind of video. And... I don't know if I'm going to be able to follow through on this or not because, you know, it would only require me to read four books for this video, but with the, with the way October went, I just don't really know if I feel like good committing to anything right now just because I don't know what's going to happen. But if I do follow through with that TBR, it would require me to read Winter Counts. This would be one of the books that I would read for that secret TBR. And this is one that I'm super excited about because it's a thriller. I've heard it compared to Breaking Bad. People have said if you like Breaking Bad, you'll like this book. People have said if you like Long Bright River, you'll like this book. It's just been compared to a lot of things that I really enjoy. And this one's like a crime thriller, I think. And it takes place on an Indian reservation and I'm stoked for it. I'm really excited. I'm probably gonna read this book regardless of if I do the video or not. So I'm reading this book no matter what. <laughs> and then hopefully in that video I'll also be reading Atomic Love. This is one that I just really want to get to. This one's like a historical fiction romance kind of book. It takes place in Chicago in 1950 and it's like this girl falls for like an FBI agent and like I don't even know but it just sounds like the perfect read for this time of year. Like I don't know it's it's always in the more like wintry cold months that I get in the mood for more like historical kind of fiction you know. So hopefully this will happen this month. I'm also like I'm not actually participating participating in nonfiction November because you know that's like a thing but I would like to read a few different nonfiction books this month. One that I just checked out from my library, the audiobook, is Greenlight by Matthew McConaughey and this is his memoir talking about his life. I've actually been listening to it all morning already and I'm like halfway through the audiobook right now and I'm really enjoying it. I really love Matthew McConaughey as an actor and a human being. I just think he's really cool and his voice is just so great to listen to in an audiobook so I'm definitely reading this one in November. Some other nonfiction that I've recently acquired that I would like to read in November is The Babysitter. And this one doesn't actually go on sale until next year, but this one just sounds absolutely fascinating because it says a, ch a chilling true story, part memoir and part true crime about a little girl longing for love who found friendship with her charismatic babysitter who was also a vicious serial killer. And like what even the heck it's told and it's told in like a fictional story kind of way. So it kind of reads like it's fiction but it's actually a true story i don't even know i'm so excited about this book like i need to read this as soon as humanly possible and then i also have group which i didn't really think much of this book when i first got sent this book i was like what even is this but since i've been sent this book reese witherspoon announced it as her pick for her book club this month and I don't know, it just sounds really interesting and it sounds like it might be very like inspiring. And this one just went on sale in October. So like I might read this one for nonfiction November. I might get to it. <laughs> Lastly, I just have these other two books here that I might get to them this month. I might not, I don't really know. The first one is The Preserve by Ariel S. Winter. And this one is one that I was sent by Atria for review. And this one is like a sci-fi kind of book. It just says, in the near future, a murder threatens humanity's fragile new way of life. 
So after a plague, the human population is now a minority. Robots, complex AIs, almost indistinguishable from humans, are the ruling majority. Nine months ago, in a controversial move, the robot government opened a series of preserves, designated areas where humans can choose to live without robot interference. Now the preserves face their first challenge, someone has been murdered. And I'm really excited to read this book. It's actually pretty short too. It's only like 230-ish pages. And then another one that I would maybe like to get to this month is True Story by Kate Reed Petty. And I thought this was more of a thriller, but I guess this one's more of just like a contemporary fiction. It says, tracing the 15 year fallout of a toxic high school rumor, a riveting, astonishingly original novel about the power of stories and who gets to tell them. And we kind of go back and forth between 2015 and 1999. And it says, true story is part psychological thriller, part fever dream, and part timely comment on sexual assault, power, and the very nature of truth. So I don't know, I would like to get to this one this month. It sounds really interesting and like something that I would enjoy, so we'll see. But yeah, those are all the books that I would like to read in the month of November. If you've read any of these books, please let me know your thoughts on them, of course, and let me know what you're planning on reading in November. I can't believe we're already in November. I feel like 2020 has gone by very fast. Anybody else? Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye!